So some things sculpture one that you're going to need for working with clay. So we have our cl canvas clay mat. There's two sides to this. One side is the canvas, the fabric, and the other side has a silicone backing. And so that's sort of like tacky or sticky. And so when you use it, you want the tacky silicone side on the table so that the, um, it kind of helps it grip. You probably need a rag to maybe wipe your hands in the middle of working. You're going to want some sort of water container. Bigger is generally better, so you might look around the house and see what you have. So here I have just a bucket here, but you could find like, this is a laundry detergent thing. This is too small, but if that's all you have, it'll work. And things you might want to find, um, you might need some more plastic bags, and I find that old bread bags that are just rinsed out work really well for this. And other things from around the house, maybe a, um, a plastic knife. The serrated teeth are really nice for scraping and cleaning things up. And then my absolute favorite tools end up being these plastic cards. They're like gift cards or old expired cards that I actually shape. And it's, um, they're really nice for custom designs and they're a little bit flexible. Super important, um, clay dust, the powdered dry dust is hazardous to breathe. Now this is cumulative. It is not something that from using a clay one or two times is gonna be a problem. It's something that I need to be concerned about because I'm in the studio all the time. But good habits, wipe down your tools and workspace, wash rags and, plat and things. Don't clap or rub off dust. So just be aware of that. Now, if you are working on things more than, um, you know, in one block period, you need to step away from it. You should wrap it in plastic. Make sure that they've pushed all the extra air out. And I just use the weight of my project to hold the plastic bag down so it doesn't dry out. This clay is air dry clay. Sorry, it's a water-based clay. It will dry out in the air. Um, if your clay gets too dry, you need to rehydrate it. If it's a project, you wanna grab your sponge and squeeze out most of the water. It should be a little bit damp, so this might be, I might need a little more here. And I'm just gonna gently dab it on my clay. And so you can see it has a slight sheen to it, but it doesn't have puddles. And then I do wanna wrap it up so that I am making sure the water content is absorbed into the clay and doesn't just evaporate off the surface. All right, and talking about um, clay, we don't wanna just leave our bag of clay just open because that will dry out and then you can't use it until you've rehydrated it. So make sure that you've t you kind of twist the end of the bag, and I just like to tuck it and use the weight of the bag to hold it. If you have a Ziploc bag, that's great. I would still use the weight of the clay to hold it down, and that's it for working with clay.